so beautiful and green behind you, Diane. Yeah. I'm on. I'm in my favorite place. This is our deck. It's in the trees. Wow. And you may hear birds. Uh, I I will mute if another airplane goes by, uh, because that's not nice noise to hear. But birds are actually lovely. And if it's there's wind, you'll hear chimes. Um, so I, I thought at first it was a little too hot to be out, but then the sun went in and it was okay. So. Oh, so beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. And besides, it's a great place to blow my bubbles. Ah. I know. I wish I had <laughs> bubbles to blow. I put bubbles in a in a <laughs> little dish. I so got bubbles. I'll blow them. I'll blow them for you, Kitty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kitty's doing the blessing. Know, it made me think I'd like to bring some back the next time I come. There They're we great go. Things. Yeah. Yes, Kitty's yeah. doing the blessing of bubbles and uh, water from Nicaragua tonight. So we're thrilled with that. Okay, let's see. Let's get started here. So I'm Diane New, uh, one of the co-directors of WATER, the Women's Alliance for Theology, Ethics, and Ritual in Silver Spring, Maryland. And welcome everyone to this water ritual. Uh, the birds are chiming in to say hello from this land that is their land and the land of the um, uh, Anacostan peoples. So we are sitting here and we know that you know that you're sitting on land that has belonged to others as well. So this is a saving grace of fun night. You know, every season offers a grace-filled time of vacations, relaxation, fun, leisure, and renewal. And even in places where work never seems to stop. Now, that's what I say happens around here. So I'm stopping tonight. It's a saving grace. It's an extended Sabbath time. It's a time to slow down to enjoy leisure time and to bask in that saving grace of fun. Now, if you're like me, you're exhausted, exhausted, especially these past couple of months from discussing justice issues like the January 6th hearings, like the shootings in Highland Park and Uvalde and Indianapolis, my hometown, just these past couple of days, the dire effects of Roe, the ongoing wars in Ukraine, of course, the injustice of racism, the rise of yet another COVID variant and on and on. And I have so many friends this week who have a diagnosis. Is that for video? So I'm worn out. I imagine you're worn out in working for social change and even practicing spirituality can be tiring when you've got all this justice stuff sitting there. So most of us have done so much work and shouldered so many responsibilities just trying to survive that play is usually low on the list of things we do. So tonight, let's invite one another to remember the value and the necessity of simply enjoying life in all the ways that we can, whether it's music, dancing, hobbies, sports, games, recreation, vacation, Sabbath time, blowing bubbles, whatever it is. Tonight, we take time to recognize and lift up fun as an integral part of salvation to see it as a human right. And by doing so, we affirm each other in yet another dimension of who we are. And we look forward to the time when the pleasure of eternal life will be ours. So come to the circle. Come to the circle and tell your story. Listen and share the world inside you. Come to the circle. Your friends are waiting to listen and share their stories too. Come to the 
So who are we in this circle tonight? We all know how to use the chat. Let's think of one fun thing that we might do this week or that we have done or that we want to do. And put your name in the chat and the fun thing. And let's just pause for a moment. So let's take a read. Swimming, contra dancing, soaking my feet, dancing again, reading for pleasure. I got Got a Lego swimmer to remind myself that I want to swim more. <laughs> Hike, dance, make a quilt, bird watching, walking on the shore, completing a jigsaw puzzle, singing a favorite song, taking a dog, my dog, for a ride in the car along the river. <laughs> Deaconish purple flowers, okay, Coralie. Dancing, the lake, Scrabble, Acetigue, oh, take me too. Playing with grandsons, art opening of a friend, dinner and catching up, playing Michigan rummy, laughing, laughing, bike riding, <sighs> dressed up with a hat. That sounds like a fun time. Thank you, everybody. I'm feeling a little bit lighter just knowing what we in the circle will be doing. And I might do some of it too. Maybe you will as well. So divine wisdom of fun and grace. You refresh our whole being with your saving love. Pour out your blessings and open us to fun-filled wisdom. Source of life, saving grace, spirit of joy. Amen. Blessed be. May it be so. God, Laughing Out Loud by Mary E. Hunt. In the beginning, God enjoyed herself. She laughed out loud and laughed some more because it was good. She sat back and smiled. She clapped her hands in glee. She imagined her sisters dancing. She did nothing but enjoy, and it was everything. God knew that there was work to be done, a world to create, 
people to form and a whole cosmos to plan. She even glimpsed the fact that creation would include meetings and that there would be injustice to write. And still, she laughed, knowing that in the end, it was all about pleasure. She explained to no one in particular that enjoyment is what she intended life to be about. Pleasure is the first principle. She knew that other would-be divinities stressed work and obligation. She reasoned quite astutely that if joy for all were the goal, then everyone could rest and relax at least some of the time. Just Thinking about this made her grin. Light years later, when creation came into being and people began to toil and sweat their way, she noticed that her first principle had been replaced by work and pain. So, she sent a reminder of her legacy. She gave it several names. Vacation, pleasure, relaxation, recreation, fun. Some thought it was a vestige of days gone by, but God knew it was the real thing. She called it salvation. God knew that it was the real thing. She called it salvation. And I'm sure she had fun calling it that too. So think about what you heard in the prayer and in the reading. What will you do just for fun? Sing, dance, hobbies, leisure. We heard some of it in the chat already. And how can we encourage each other in the joy of fun as we encourage each other in the pursuit of justice. Good. All right, so anybody who has bubbles, open them up if you're in a place where you can blow bubbles because we're going into the blessing of bubbles and water that Kitty will do from Nicaragua, but I think we need bubbles from around the world or wherever we have them. Mm -hmm. So, Olivia, with your snack beside you, could you lead us in a bubble blowing, please? <laughs> Oh, I saw him um, one more time. Okay, everybody else. <laughs> I don't have my. <laughs> I like double bubbles. If anyone so can do a double bubble. So with our bubbles and also water, hmm. Kitty, lead us in our blessing. Okay. Let's see. It's 
one I see. Salvation, Sabbath time, vacation rest. Bubbles and water are good friends. We gather water and bubbles as symbols for the saving grace of fun. Our bodies contain nearly 70% water and about 75% of Earth's surface is covered by water. Think about this. Each time we play with water, take a shower, walk in the ocean, jump in a lake, or stomp in a puddle, we bless our bodies, our beings, and the world. Visualize your favorite body of water. Those are the fireworks going off for the president. Oh, perfect. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, uh, right. Send love and gratitude to this water. Imagine love flowing from your heart down your arms and out of your hands into the water. Imagine standing under a waterfall or in a stream or in the ocean like Phoebe tomorrow and imagine water washing away anything you want to release. Blow bubbles or imagine blowing them. Think of how bubbles and water speak to you about the saving grace of fun. Bless yourself with water and give thanks. Gratitude before Gratitude behind me, gratitude to the left of me, gratitude to the right of me, gratitude above me, gratitude below me, gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, 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 gratitude before me, gratitude behind me, gratitude to the left of me. Gratitude to the right of me, gratitude above me, gratitude below me, gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. Gratitude before me, before gratitude behind me, behind gratitude me. to the left of me, to the gratitude me. to the right of me, to the right of gratitude me. above.
many, many things for us to be grateful about, even as there are many, many things to be sorrowful about. So let's remember those things and remember gratitude as we take action this week, this month, um, with and in joy. Intentionally do something fun every day this week. Skip and dance around with a child or by yourself or with a friend. <laughs> Laugh just to laugh. Check the travel section of your local newspaper for vacation options and upcoming events. Blow bubbles, go to the water, stomp in a puddle, just enjoy your time as you see fit. So let's go forth and have some fun, especially tonight when you take time to just relish what this time together has been. May our vacation be full of joy. May we be renewed with waters of leisure and bubbles of wonder. May we know the saving grace of fun. Be happy and show it. So thank you so well, much for being, so much for being with us tonight. So go forth and just enjoy whatever your life is tonight, whatever your life is tomorrow. Um, I take away the one thing that I think Kitty, you said about Zelensky's wife. What's her name again? I'm sorry. I'm just find joy, find joy wherever it is. Um, 
in whatever we do. And Olivia, are you around again? How about one last bubble blowing before we finish for tonight? Everybody got your bubbles ready? Go for it, Olivia, lead us. <laughs> Oh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Olivia, for blowing bubbles with us, for being with us. Thank you for all bubble blowers and everybody going to the beach. Take us in your suitcases for sure. <laughs>